first football team in Las Vegas. It's a dope situation, man. It's awesome. Well, we were ecstatic that we were going to be part of another iconic project on the Vegas Strip. It was just, it was amazing that we were selected and we're pretty proud of the fact that we were joining the team. I think Las Vegas has been really been ready for a really big sports team. I think it's going to be do great things for this for this city. Really, no other NFL stadium where the crowd might be completely mixed half and half. Where you know it's such a travel destination, you're you're really going to have a really different home feel. The Las Vegas Strip, one of the most iconic areas in the entire world. Allegiant Stadium, new home to the Las Vegas Raiders, will hold 70,000 fans, and when complete will be the most connected stadium in the world, with 1,700 Wi-Fi access points, 227 miles of cable, and over 2,000 flat screens. Accordion walls that open to a spectacular view of the Las Vegas Strip, premium suites on all levels, and an 85-foot tall torch, signifying the late owner Al Davis and his spark. But most impressive, the retractable natural grass field. Weighing in at 1,500 tons, it will move the field in and out of the stadium with the help of a series of 76 electric motors. A little over 300 members, brothers and sisters, working on this job. 450,000 man hours have been spent already on this project. To start with the job, I started uh, building racks, putting devices in the racks, and pulling the cable uh, to go into the racks for the stereos and the amps. Did a lot of the cable tray installation down in the basement. A lot of the underground installation on the site for the parking lots, the light poles in the field area. And then all of the underground out for where the field will rest when it's actually in place. A uh, high voltage termination, I think, has been the most exciting because uh, it's a uh, it's pretty extensive class and to find be able to apply something on the technical side in the field has been very rewarding. Never stop the communication flow on a project, bigger projects like this especially. Uh, there's so many moving pieces, things change every day. Uh, what you planned on for the next two weeks sometimes doesn't hold true for 24 hours before it's changing. I've been a part of the electrical industry prior to this as a contractor and worked with IBEW for the last 28 years on major projects. And it's always been a welcome partnership. We've been a IBEW NECA contractor going on 74 years. In Vegas, everything gets built quickly. This was another project that was gonna get done very quickly on a very tight schedule. And we got seven months left to finish. We got a ways to go, but we're going to get there. The three, four months leading up to the opening day are going to be really, really a crunch for us. We've got a lot of work to put in in that last quarter of this project. Just going to be a huge relief on so many ways. I'm really looking forward to it. To be sitting in the stadium and know that all of our hard work of our crews and our team members has, has brought this to reality. Well, nobody does it better than the NECA IBW team. For Electric TV in Las Vegas, I'm Erica McClarity.